Postscriptum is a tactical first-person shooter set during the height of the Second World War. Much like live combat, the game demands competence and communication to survive and thrive. If you were looking to learn the basics or sharpen your skills, you have come to the right place. This is part 7 of a multi-part tutorial series covering every class in the game. Welcome to a Moron's Guide. Welcome to the squad. Now I know, easy there, grunt. Not everyone can be the squad marksman. You got better odds of winning the lottery than you do getting that kit. Even if you do get it, you think you're gonna be some Alvin York dropping cherries on your left and right? Now, now listen up and you may learn a thing or two. Today, we'll review the most sought after class in the game, the marksman. This specialization is a variant of the rifleman, armed nearly identically, but with a medium range scope fitted to your bolt action rifle. Due to many players' obsession with having high kill death ratios, the marksman is the most coveted role on the battlefield even to the degree that many players memorize the place to click for quicker selection during squad creation. Hopefully, we can clear up why this is and maybe improve the quality of players running around with scoped rifles. In this video, we will review the equipment, responsibilities, and some tips and tricks to playing the Marksman class in Postscriptum. Let's first review the equipment you'll have at your disposal and how it is best implemented. Both Allied and German marksmen are equipped with essentially the same loadout, which are a scoped bolt-action rifle with 7-12 to 12 magazines in reserve. This high-caliber weapon is fitted with a moderate-range scope, perfect for picking off opponents at some range. A pistol sidearm for defending yourself at closer ranges. Three medical field dressings for healing up to 75% of your health or patching up an injured teammate. One morphine syringe for reviving fallen comrades with priority going to the medics. Two fragmentation grenades helpful for clearing out nests so you can move in. Two smoke grenades, very visible, deployable, and chemical cover. An entrenching tool used for building and dismantling cover, boxes, or FOBs, and a canteen with seven sips to recharge your stamina. As stated in other guides, zooming in during ADS is impossible without stamina. Stay hydrated when moving stealthily around the battlefield. Each faction arms their marksmen with a different primary and secondary weapon. The American Sniper takes aim with the M1908 Springfield Scoped Bolt Action Rifle and the M1911 Pistol Sidearm. The British and Polish Marksman enters the battlefield with the Lee Enfield Scoped Bolt Action Rifle with the Enfield II Pistol Sidearm on their hip. The French Sniper retreats armed with the LaBelle Model 1886 Scoped Bolt Action Rifle as well as the Moss Model 1873 revolver. And the German sharpshooter is issued the Car 98 scoped bolt action rifle and the P38 as a sidearm. As stated in the previous tutorials, each of these weapons have their pros and cons and take some time to get accustomed to. If you want extra practice with these weapons, be sure to try out the training mode where you can test out all of the firearms, vehicles, and mechanics of the game. Now that we've reviewed their equipment, it's time to discuss the roles and responsibilities of the Marksman. While seemingly straightforward, the Marksman class can be a versatile role in the right hands. A capable Marksman is both bold and careful, requiring good instincts and fast reflexes. As expected, the primary role of the Marksman is eliminating infantry threats on the battlefield. In the right hands, the sniper can take on a full enemy squad solo from a distance. Many squad leaders will turn their marksmen loose upon the battlefield, trusting their skill to aid the overall war effort. However, squad leaders would do well to check in on those marksmen to ensure their scoped rifle is being used efficiently. 
For example, on bridge-centric battlefields, marksmen should look to eliminate hostile machine gun nests, single-manned field guns, and other enemy sharpshooters. Marksmen can be well-suited for search-and-destroy tactics, looking for enemy spawn points on the battlefield. FOBs, MSPs, and squad rallies can be easily sussed out by snipers in enemy territory. Many players take the most direct route from spawn to the fighting. Simply follow the path soldiers are using to join the front, and you should stumble upon their spawn. Your shovel will easily break down FOBs. Grenades will swiftly eliminate enemy rally points. But with MSPs, be sure to call for assistance from your squad leader for a well-placed airstrike from the commander. Marksmen are also highly valuable for their reconnaissance capabilities. When aiming down their scope, a skilled marksman knows when to pull the trigger and when to pass along the information to their SL. 100% they got a rally. Who wants to go hunting? Especially when behind enemy lines. Except for hitting the tank commander hanging out of the hatch, marksmen are almost entirely wasted against armor. If spotted, a marksman should communicate the armor's location and stay hidden. This isn't Battlefield 1. You don't have an armor-piercing sniper rifle, so don't even try it. Since marksmen are used for recon or ranged executions, you will typically find yourself separate from the rest of your squad. Friendly medics will probably not be nearby for revives. Survival is key, and a sniper should not stay in one place very long. Similar to the MG class, snipers are most efficient when moving between nests. A well-chosen nest is a piece of cover to remain hidden in with superior angles of attack than the surrounding area. Excellent nests include atop a roof with short cover dense foliage near the top of a hill, and church towers. Sound discipline is a must to maintain stealth. Many players will recognize the sound of your rifle and can locate your position within a few seconds of you firing. Once discovered, you should relocate immediately before your position becomes targeted. During relocations, you should equip your sidearm for close quarters engagements. Snipers who can pick off a few troopers while relocating effectively can serve to distract a squad or two from the main objective and create a mixture of fear or frustration in the other team. Those were the basic responsibilities of playing the marksman. Now let's look at some tips and tricks that will enhance your experience in Postscriptum. Postscriptum utilizes a realistic bullet drop and ballistic system Holding the X key and scrolling up or down on the mouse wheel will adjust your sights to different ranges. You can practice rapidly sighting your weapon at the weapon range, which also includes handy distance signs. When on the battlefield, using landmarks or map markers can also help to determine appropriate range. The grid overlay on the battle map displays a 3x3 box. Each of the smallest squares in the grid represents 100 meters. Therefore, each large grid box is 300 meters. Learning to judge distance effectively will increase the chances of a marksman wounding their opponent with a single shot. When crouching or laying prone, you may come across an icon that looks like a white gun with a bipod. This indicates that your weapon is resting against a nearby object such as a window, sandbag, rock, or tree. This action will result in reduced weapon sway and allow you to more easily hit your target. The Marksman is a class whose bullet arcs are visible on the battlefield. While this mechanic is beneficial for gauging where your bullets are landing, it can also reveal your location to the enemy. Experienced soldiers can track the arc of these tracers back to the sniper's nest. Gunshot audio is also another way to track an enemy marksman. The Springfield and Car 98 are some of the most recognizable gunshots in the game. Learn to use tracer arcs and gunshot audio to help identify a sniper's location. Now that we've covered the equipment, responsibilities, and tips and tricks of the marksman class, it's time to wrap up with some final thoughts. With 10 different infantry classes to choose from, 
Many players can be overwhelmed with the roles and responsibilities in Postscriptum. But if you're looking to learn the basics or sharpen your skills with another class, be sure to check out the other parts in our multi-part Postscriptum guide. If you'd like to join us for a game sometime, you can find the link in our Discord server in the description below. On behalf of myself and all of the people involved in this video from the Moron Militia, we thank you for watching and hope to see you again sometime soon. And remember to always drink from your canteen.